Welcome back to the podcast, guys. In today's episode, we'll be talking about chasing brown trout up the streams in the Otways. There's something to do with brown trout fishing that interests me. I don't know, I think it's to do with like the scenery. I just enjoy the fact that you can walk up to a place where no one's ever been and fish pristine waters. See, brown trout stream fishing just gives me the vibes of zen. It's very relaxing. I find it really, um, really calming and soothing. So if you're ever stressed out or anything or you need to burn out a bit of steam, a good tip is to go up to the forest and do a hike and catch some fish. Trout enjoy being face first into the current. So when we're fishing for brown trout, we'd like to walk from the start of the bottom of the river and walk upstream, throwing little hard bodies at them, trying to get their attention to strike the lure. Depending on the session, depending on how much water has been flowing through the river, sometimes these fish are either small, sometimes they're big. Generally, they're average around, let's say, about 10 all the way up to like 40 centimetres at max. Through spawning season, they do spawn a lot of small fish. You'll get fish around that 10 to 10 to 20 centimetre mark constantly, and not often you'll actually catch a fish between 35 to 40 centimetres at all. So with the gear we use, we generally use a graphite rod that's 1 to 2 or 1 to 3 kilo with a 1,000 size reel with a 6 pound to 8 pound braid generally. You can go down to 4 pound, but it's a bit risky when you're fishing around rocks. With leader, leader is generally around 4 to Four to six pound is pretty appropriate for the situation. The lures I use, people ask me what lures I use all the time. I'll be honest, all the lures I use up in my streams are painted by Mr. T-Rex. Steve paints lure blanks pretty much on his spare time. He charges around 10 to $13 per blank. He includes hooks and everything. I can leave his description down below if you guys are interested. What type of lure colours I like to use during uh, my sessions? I generally like to use bright colours. Bright colours really work, that fluoro green, fluoro pink, or see-through pink, see-through red works really well. If not, the old natural brown trout spotted dog colour works a treat in every stream. But yeah, any shallow diving hard body around that 40mm all the way up to 60mm will work a treat in the streams. Pretty much all you're looking for is a slow roll all the way through to your feet. You can twitch, but generally up the streams, I find twitching doesn't work as great. That slow roll really gets them going. The bite indication will just be a hard bite, like a hard smack on the rod tip, and then you're on. Just make sure that drag isn't too tight because those small fish do like to jump. They can throw hooks. So keep the drag around medium to light and you'll be sweet. So the best way to handle trout is to wet your hands first. Trout do have a protective slime coating over the top of their bodies to protect them from diseases and um, microorganisms. So try and use some pliers to take out the hooks. Be fairly quickly with it. Take some photos and enjoy. It's best to practice catch and release only up in these forests. You don't get the opportunity of catching really good fish up that way. So if we can keep those bigger fish alive in those streams, that's a more chance for everyone to catch a big fish and enjoy the experience. These fish in the wild up the streams though, the colours on these fish are nuts. They're just, they're like dark brown to light brown with... um really highlighted white and red spots throughout the whole entire body most of these fish are in great condition if you see a fish that looks a bit damaged or hammered generally that's due to spawning i'm just going to go through on uh if you're struggling to catch fish see trout i've caught trout all over the places in um streams sometimes they're hiding underneath boulders sometimes they're sitting in deep holes sometimes they're in no water at all even in the spots that you think that there wouldn't be a fish generally there's a fish sitting there so just make sure you're fanning your cast out in spots that you think the fish will be sitting in. Be persistent, don't give up. Keep walking forward, casting, walking forward, casting until you get one. Another thing cool to mention is if you're fishing the mouth, um, generally you can actually encounter the rare sea run trout. Not often, I haven't caught a sea run trout yet. But yeah, there is evidence and proof that people have caught sea run trout in those areas. So if you ever get to encounter one, please send me a photo through. That'd be cool. One great advice for you guys if you're targeting uh, trout up in streams is to wear camouflage clothing so you can blend in with the um, background. If you don't have camouflage clothing, wear colours that are, aren't too bright, so keep it very neutral. Um, if you can wear green, green's actually good, so you blend in with the forest, and yeah, that will give you an advantage to catching a bit of trout. A good pair of waders go a long way, so if you can get a pair of waders, they'll be great. They will keep you warm, they will keep you out of the water. If not, you can wear skins. Skins will do the trick, but you'll just be a bit wet. They'll dry off quickly, though, as soon as you're moving around. Uh, I started off with skins, and then 
Eventually, I purchased some decent waders, and I've been on waders ever since. Having a rubber trout net is handy also to carry along. Um, don't use the mesh nets because they will uh, just cause you a bit of problems, especially if you're running trebles on your lures. Those mesh nets will be nasty on your trips. You'll spend a lot of time trying to take the trebles out of the mesh instead of... Uh, fishing all right so now we got to the end of the podcast i'd like to say a big thanks to everyone that commented on the last podcast and uh, encouraged me to film another one i hope you enjoyed this one hope you learned something if you have any questions do type it down below in the video and i'll get to them and yeah enjoy happy fishing bye